Today, we're going to dive into a pretty remarkable story from the world of medicine. It's about a virus that operates completely in the shadows and the absolute game-changing breakthrough that gave us a near-perfect cure. Just think about that for a second. What if a serious infection was slowly, quietly causing irreversible harm to one of your most vital organs, but you felt totally fine? Well, this isn't some sci-fi scenario. For millions of people, it's the reality of hepatitis C. So to really understand this whole story, we first have to get our heads around why hepatitis C is known as the silent infection. Okay, so when someone first gets infected, they enter what's called the acute phase. Now, the key word here, the one you really need to remember, is asymptomatic. You know, unlike the flu, which hits you like a truck with fever and aches, hep C usually gives you absolutely no warning signs. You could get it and have no idea. Now, for some people, their immune system is just incredible. About 15 to 45 percent of them will actually fight off the virus and clear it all on their own. And that's fantastic news for them. But, and this is a big but, for the vast majority, the virus doesn't go anywhere. It stays. It digs in for the long haul. And that's when it becomes a chronic, lifelong problem. So what happens when the virus decides to stick around? Well, that's when it begins this slow, relentless attack on the liver. And this isn't something that happens overnight. We're talking about a process that plays out over decades. The whole pathway of damage usually starts with this constant, low-grade inflammation in the liver. A good way to think of it is like having a wound that just never, ever gets a chance to fully heal. Over many, many years, all that inflammation leads to scarring. That's a condition we call cirrhosis. And that can ultimately lead to total liver failure or even cancer. And right here, this is the most crucial point. Just look at that timeline. It can take 20, even 30 years for that chronic inflammation to cause serious scarring or cirrhosis. That is two to three decades where the damage is just building up silently with zero outward signs of trouble. Now, not everyone with chronic hep C will get to this really dangerous end stage, but a pretty significant number will. We're talking about 15 to 20 percent of people living with the chronic virus will eventually develop cirrhosis. That's roughly one out of every five people facing a very serious life-altering complication. So what exactly is cirrhosis? Well, imagine your liver, which is supposed to be soft and flexible, is slowly being replaced by this hard, fibrous scar tissue. This scarring makes it really tough for blood to flow through, and it basically stops the liver from doing its critical jobs, like filtering out toxins from your body or making essential proteins. And you might think the liver is ground zero for all the damage, and it is, but the virus's impact doesn't stop there. Oh no, that constant immune response can set off a chain reaction of problems all throughout the body. And the list of these extra hepatic issues, meaning issues outside the liver, is pretty long. The virus can trigger conditions that cause rashes and joint pain. It can lead to serious kidney disease, and it's even been linked to neurological problems, diabetes, and certain cancers like lymphoma. It really is a systemic disease. So for decades, that was the grim story, a silent threat that led to devastating consequences. But then everything changed. A new class of medicine showed up and completely rewrote the ending. These are called direct-acting antivirals, or DAAs. And honestly, the name says it all. See, unlike older treatments that just tried to pump up your own immune system, these drugs go right after the virus itself. They target specific parts of the virus and block its ability to make copies, basically just shutting down the entire factory. What's just so incredible is how simple the treatment has become. Medications like Epclusa and Mavret, they're pan-genotypic. That's a fancy way of saying one pill works against all the major types of the virus. And the duration isn't years, not by a long shot. 12 weeks. For most people, that's it. A disease that could be silently wrecking your body for 30 years can now be treated in about three months. Sometimes it can even be as short as eight weeks. I mean, the contrast is just staggering. And this is the most important number of all, the cure rate. With these modern DAAs, over 90% of people who finish the treatment are cured. Not managed, not suppressed. We're talking completely 100% cured of the virus. It's truly one of the greatest medical success stories of our time. So this massive shift just changes everything for a patient. The whole narrative has gone from being this chronic, lifelong threat to a genuine medical triumph. The transformation is just profound. 
We went from a disease you basically had to manage for the rest of your life, just hoping to slow down the inevitable damage, to an infection you can just eliminate with a short course of pills. It's a night and day difference. And let's be clear about what this means. Curing the virus completely stops the inflammation. It halts any more liver damage in its tracks and dramatically lowers the risk of developing liver cancer down the road. This isn't just about getting rid of a virus. It's about saving an organ and ultimately saving a life. So that leaves us with one final really important question. We have this cure that's safe, simple, and incredibly effective. The medical battle, for the most part, has been won. The new frontier is now a public health one. How do we find and treat the millions of people who are still out there living with this silent threat, completely unaware of the damage being done inside their own bodies? That's the challenge that lies ahead of us.